you must have played the Google T-Rex game, right? And while playing with React Native, I made my own clone of the main T-Rex game by Google and it's completely built with React Native. It's very simple but it was pretty fun to build this project. So now it's time to build it. Let's dive in codes. It's very simple and small project, just a code of 157 lines. So at first we need a very basic React Native project. So here I declared some states. I will explain them later and some content here. I, I replaced the dinosaur with a box here and here is my box and the objects that are coming from right to left and here is my background like the trees and clouds and so on. This looks nice but this actually currently does nothing. So now I will need to code some functions. As I previously added the jump function here, I started working on the jump function. If I use some React Native physics engine, that would be really cool. But I followed a bad way and added some animations with animated API like going up and coming down. This works however pretty good. I also need to add the transform style and this works like this. Just going up and coming down. The next thing I want to code is the objects that are coming from right to left. So I added a function in component did mount and here's my function. This is simply an loop, an animated loop which has an animation that brings the object from right to left but I noticed further that the loop doesn't work so I added a second function that works like a loop you'll also notice that I have an array that works to change the object y time to time I randomly choose a style from here and apply that here is a zero that means there is no object so sometimes there will be no object coming from right to left. This makes the simulation pretty realistic. And also I need to add the transform style here and the white settings like this. Finally this works like this but actually this doesn't collide. Now I coded the background, the trees and the clouds. This is pretty same as before. We just need something like the objects and here is my an array for the trees and clouds so I can randomly show something and here's my transform style. This makes the simulation pretty realistic and gives a feeling that the object is going forward and everything is going backward. So now we will code a collision. This is one of the main thing here. So I have added a function here and I again I did it in very bad way. If I use the physics engine that would be really good. But I just calculated at what point the collision happens and added some logics for that point. So if those objects are at that point, a crash happens. And if not, there is no crash. And I also added some simple logics to make this work. But this actually does nothing to the game. So I need to code the crash state. So I added some logic in render. If the state is crashed, so I will render the crash screen and if not it's normal so I will play the game. I made some good content for this where I have shown the points and the retry pattern which works like this. This actually sets all the functions, all the states at beginning so it acts like that. 
So this is something like this. When a collision happens, this will show the screen. And when you tap retry, this will again play the game. Now I will put the score. So I brought down the score functions here and added some function for this. It's pretty simple. From time to time we have sent an interval and update the score one by one. Here we'll see it in action. Every 500 milliseconds it updates the score by 1. Now it's time to code the high score. This is pretty simple. When a crash happens, we'll check if the high score is less than the score gained this time. So we'll update this like that. And here I have rendered the high score. Now it's time to make this complete game. I added a starting screen with a start button so player can start the game. And I also brought down the component did mount this start function to this button and I will remove the status from normal to black as my code says. And finally I added some logic to increase the speed when the score is more than 100. This actually decreases the duration of the animation. And this is the final product. When you tap start button, this plays the game. And you start playing. And whenever a crash happens, this will take to this screen. If your score is less than the high score, this also show up just like this. That's all for our first video. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and let me know in comments what you wish to see in future videos. Have a nice day.